Hi everyone, happy weekend. I wanted to share this because my mind was blown. This is an AI tool called WebSim.ai. What it does is that it generates entire websites just based on uh, a prompt, just like uh, any large language model. And I asked it to generate a website for supply chain um, process data and systems. And uh, this is what it came up with. Uh, and it looks pretty impressive um, because what it's doing is uh, this LLM has scraped the entire internet and it's just generating um, stuff that kind of looks like what you would expect from a real life website. Uh, if there was a website for a digital team in supply chain in Shell. And uh, I have to say, uh, some of the stuff doesn't make sense, but a lot of it really looks indistinguishable from something that you would see in a real-life corporate website. Um, they've got a procurement dashboard. You can even select the dates. And it, this is crazy. It's building the HTML in the back end to actually allow you to select dates. And uh, you can refresh the data, and it's generating images uh, on the fly um for all these different metrics um it's taking a while to load uh it even has a uh, fake org chart with uh, fake names of people and bios uh, so let's give it a second to load up um it's uh what is it showing meet the innovative minds apparently our uh, cpo is sarah johnson uh, we've got someone called Michael Chen, who is the VP of Supply Chain Operations. Uh, oh, you've got a uh, procurement technology, Olivia Brown, Data Analytics Manager. So here's a crazy feature. Um, you can actually just change this. So you can do things like edit, um, and you can even do it. Uh, so make, make this uh, a guy called Z, uh, that's probably my poor typing, Z, U, based in Malaysia. Uh, and when you do that, what it does is going to, the large language model is going to rerun the website, but only change that one detail that you just told it to change. So you should still see Sarah Johnson as the CPO, Michael Chen, same set of people, but as if by magic, uh, it's, well, apparently it doesn't know that ZU is a guy, but uh, no problem. You just change the image uh, and it's going to like look in the back end and it's going to produce a new image. Uh, this probably fits my personality, I guess. Um, yeah, so it is, this technology is pretty wow. Uh, who knows what's going to happen next? Uh, I mean, this thing was just so amazing. I had to make this short recording and share it with everyone. Um, what does this mean for us as a process data and systems team in supply chain? Uh, are we going to be able to in leverage some of this new kind of uh, generative AI tech? I don't have the answer, um, but I think that if we don't start thinking about it, somebody else will, uh, one of our competitors likely, and uh, we'll be left behind. Right, I think that was it, and uh, enjoy your weekend. Bye, everyone.